my pleasure to show you one of the great high type specialists in the showcase program, 7H13839 Ducket Crush Tattoo. This crush son from a reserve All-American, excellent 93 gold chip daughter, followed by one of the great uttered cows in breed history, Van Gogh Durham Treasure, excellent 96, 99 points in the udder, perennial tan bark favorite. This bull is now one of the highest type bulls in the breed at number 11, at 2.95 on his type credentials, as well as plus 13 in Canada. He's making customer satisfaction across the globe. He now has over 1,100 daughters in his proof and continues to improve, just like himself. The bull has gotten much deeper, wider, more open in his frame as he's matured into a mature bull. He's a bull that is making great young cows that have the look of great promise in the future. Tattoo has tremendous type credentials, but he's not just a type bull. He's one of the best in the breed for somatic cell score. He's great on CDCB mastitis as well as Zoetis mastitis, making him a mastitis resistance pro bull in our program as well. The other thing Tattoo does is he adds some set to the leg, something the breed desperately needs. They move freely on their feet and legs. And he's also a bull with an alternative pedigree that makes him a logical cross to the Doc and McCutcheon bloodlines out there today. I envision in the future, just like his sire Gold Chip, there's going to be champions across the globe sired by this breed leader, a bull that's a favorite of the barn crew. As I said, a bull that continues to get better in his confirmation, he gets older, he's widened out in his rump. Certainly a bull we're extremely excited about in the showcase program, leaving an indelible mark in the industry. That's 7H13839, duck it, crush tattoo. This is 250H15397 AOT Homecoming. Homecoming is the exciting Spartacus son from the now excellent cookie cutter Delta Habitan. Habitan traces back to the world famous cow family at Cookie Cutter. He's bred by AOT Genetics in New York and a bull we're very, very happy to have at Select Sires. Homecoming is a two and a half year old bull that's really starting to come into his own from a type standpoint. He's a beautifully balanced, strong, square young bull. A bull that adds some flexibility to the leg and some set to the hock and yet a bull we think is gonna develop into a very high scoring bull in time. Homecoming is an exciting addition to our showcase selections program. He's a bull based on his pedigree that allows you to use him nearly anywhere and everywhere you'd like to. There's no Dorman, no McCutcheon in his pedigree, which makes him a logical combination on King Boy, King Doc, Gold Chip, Tattoo, and so many others. Homecoming is one of the highest combined type and utter composite bulls in the Select Sires program. We expect him, based on his type predictions and his pedigree, to be one of our elite type improvers and a reason why he's part of the Showcase Selection program. But he offers so much more than just type. He's a bull that stacks up with the very best of them from a TPI standpoint. He's a high percent fat improver and total pounds of fat improvement. He's a bull that should improve fertility, being outstanding for daughter pregnancy rate, and also a bull that should enhance mastitis resistance as we move forward. He's a bull that offers a beautiful linear profile, exuding that balance that the bull himself displays. An added bonus for homecoming are his milk proteins. He's A2, A2 for beta casein and BB for kappa casein, giving you that improvement in proteins that you're so looking for. Homecoming exciting addition to the showcase program. Here he comes, 250H12961, Woodcrest King Doc. Doc is quickly setting the standard in the industry for leading the lists of very good two-year-olds and now excellent three-year-olds. He is a bull at setting the standards and an all-time great at Select Sires. Bred by Woodcrest Dairy in Lisbon, New York, 
Dock is one of the highest combined TPI and overall type bulls in the breed. He is a tall, long-bodied bull, hard-topped, and beautiful, long, wide rump structure that he consistently transmits to his daughters. Doc is the king boy son from the 88 point Mac times 91 snowman, then an 87 Atwood, a 91 point shuttle, and then one of the breed favorites, the 92 point debutante Ray, the excellent Durham that made so many friends at World Dairy Expo. Doc is one of the premier production bulls in the breed. Well over 6,000 daughters, a bull that's over 1,600 pounds of milk, 72 pounds of fat, and still 56 pounds of protein. We couple that with his three and a half points on tight and 2.4 utter composite. He is on a list all by himself. Doc has been a popular selling bull for Select since the beginning of his genomic career. Now as a high, reliable, proven bull, he is consistently at the top of the sales charts on a monthly basis and is rising very quickly on the all-time sales charts at Select Sires. Doc has come along at a perfect time when he complements so many of the pedigrees in the Select Sires program and in herds in general around the world. He's a perfect complement to daughters of Bradnick, Dempsey, Corvette, Diamondback, and yes, even Gold Chip. King Doc is a once in a lifetime kind of bull. He's a bull that crosses over to all types of management systems around the world. Truly a legend in the making. 250H12961 Doc. It's my pleasure to introduce to you one of the new entrants to the showcase program that's 7H15524 Seamers Handshake. This peak tropic son from a young Delta Lamb daughter that's already good plus 83, followed behind that an excellent 91 Monterey daughter that's gold medal, and then the 2020 Holstein International Global Cow of the Year Cookie Cutter Mogul Hanker, excellent 94. So he has the pedigree to fit into the showcase program. A great line of bulls from this family are already in showcase. But this bull is a little special in that he's a different pedigreed bull. He has no dock, no dormant in his pedigree, which makes him a great cross to those genetics out there in the industry. Handshake himself is a component specialist, double digit percentage increases for that. He's plus on daughter pregnancy rate. He's over three points on type. He's got a beautiful linear profile but a bull that adds size, but not too big. Balance all the way throughout. He's a bull that as you look at him as an individual, he has the balance that we wanna look for. He's a hard topped bull. He moves exceptionally well on his feet and legs. He has the look of a future star. He's a bull that I see in the future maturing into a great, great individual like those bulls you've come to expect from select sires. He'll work commercially, he'll work to make the fancy one that can go out and win at the shows. He's another one of the crossover bulls that we talk about in the showcase program that can meet multiple markets. Great young individual, new entrant to the program, 7H15524, Seamers Handshake. SSI Limelight Bedrock PP is one of the most unique and interesting bulls ever offered by Select Sires. For the first time in breed history, we have a truly elite production bull that is homozygous for the pulled trait. He has over 2,000 pounds of milk which ranks him near the top amongst all our genomic lineup bulls, and 100% of his calves will not have horns. Yes, you heard that right. 100% of his calves will not have horns. Bedrock is a limelight sun from a frazzled dam, now in her second lactation and making another big record. After her, his pedigree boasts a Montrose Grand Dam and then an Earnhardt P Great Grand Dam, so you can understand how this bull gets his ability to transmit high production. As you watch this video, you can tell that Bedrock is a nice looking bull himself moving freely on a correct set of feet and legs. You can see here he shows off his big, smooth head as you would expect from a pole bull. 
and his genomic type evaluation predicts his daughters will inherit a pleasing type pattern themselves. He is the only bull in our current genomic lineup that is over 1,500 pounds of milk, over a point and a half of type, and a point and a half on utter composite. So when you combine that with the fact that he will sire hornless calves, this makes him truly an incredible bull. Bedrock will also transmit the A2A2 gene for beta casein and is one of our best for transmitting calf health as predicted by the Zoetis evaluations. His combination of pedigree and positive traits make him a very easy bull to use on almost any of your Holstein females. Bedrock is available in gender sorted semen through the Next Gen program. So if you want to put the pole gene into your herd without sacrificing any production, health, or type, the choice is clear. Say his name, SSI, Limelight, Bedrock, PP. Next in the ring is 14H15223, Sandy Valley R. Conway. Conway is a recent graduate of the Select Sire's Next Gen program. Conway is a A2A2 beta casein BB kappa casein renegade son out of a granite, out of a very good Draco, out of the 92 point mogul calamity of Sandy Valley. Conway is a mastitis resistant pro, feed pro, and robot pro designation bull. The early Conway calves uh, look to be long, stretchy, balanced calves. Talking to other breeders, some of the large standouts of the Conway calves are their, uh, their energy, how clean they keep their coat and the sheen of their coat, and just their overall, uh, their overall health. That is a testament to the early Conway calves. Uh, looking through the Conway genomics, uh, Conway is a double digit uh, component percentage bull for both protein and fat percentage with adequate pounds on both. Conway does hail a 2936 GTPI and 984 HHP dollars, which puts him in an elite category. Looking through his linear, Conway is an extremely balanced bull without any holes. And you can say the same about his genomic profile as well. He's a hole free bull that should allow him to be used very easily on most all matings. That's 14H. 15 223 Conway. The Generation product line proudly presents to you 250HO 15513 Elon. And yeah, Elon has his eye on you as a special bull. Special from the standpoint when you're looking for elite TPI bulls that uh, cross many different market sectors, he's number 11 in the breed for Active AI today. He's a bull that uh, comes with a great, strong, deep maternal family, the Myra family that we've had great success with through the years. I'm sure you're familiar with King Royal, uh, bull from this very same family. But this is a Spartacus son, so he's different on the top side. Spartacus out of a Mula, out of a Lopez, out of a King Boy that does many, many things right. He's a casing specialist, he's A2A2. He's a bull that adds some set to the rear leg. He's a bull that adds tremendous rudders and actually a bull that puts the right size tee on there as well. So has all these traits we're looking for from the standpoint of unique pedigree, successful maternal line, overall balance to fit the genetic index for TPI, and a bull that also has some calf wellness abilities as well. So we've used him heavily as a sire father. He's a beautiful individual himself with uh, dairy strength that you like to see, some depth and some some spring to his cage and uh, really represents what we're seeing in the Spartacus daughters because they pass the eyeball test as well. So we're pleased with Elon, pleased with his rank, pleased from the standpoint that he can be used on a lot of the renegade blood that's out there today uh, to cross up some different bloodlines, to add some mastitis control that we think is very valuable today, good components as well, both plus some percent fat and protein. And again, uh, the TPI ranking, that's, that's hard to ignore. So this is Elon, a special bull from the Generations product program and a bull that we think has a bright future for many regards as a crossover bull 
in the next gen program today but it also fits the feed pro designation and the grazing designation as well so we think uh, a pretty special bull that we hope you're not missing this is elon 250h15513 Certainly over the years at Select Sires, we've been home to many elite bulls. Bulls that have changed the breed, bulls that have made the breed better. And Malary Joe Super Frazzled is one of those such bulls. As a young calf, when he got his first genomic evaluation, he was predicted to be an elite bull of his generation. Once he started making semen and siring sons and daughters, those offspring rose to the top of the genetic ranking list. And once those daughters started to calve in, they proved to be exactly what we hoped they would be, a commercial dairyman's dream. As you watch this video, Frazzled is a moderate-sized, well-balanced bull, and his daughters are consistently moderate-sized, with good udders and good feet and legs. Frazzle will sire daughters with high, wide rear udders, with a correct teat size and a correct teat placement. But one of the best things I like about the Frazzled Daughters is the mobility. As you watch this bull walk himself, he's very mobile with a correct set to the leg. At a time when many dairymen tell us their cows are getting too straight through the hock, Frazzled has come along to correct this trait. This bull is an elite bull for siring high production with good fitness traits. He is one of our very best proven bulls for lowering somatic cell score and improving mastitis resistance and productive life. And he's a transmitter of the A2A2 beta casein gene. Frazzled has a very deep pedigree as well. His dam is an excellent 90 shot glass and then a VG Robust and a VG Jeeves. So a deep pedigreed bull bred by Spencer Hackett and his family in Minnesota. We're very fortunate to have this bull at Select Sires. He's one of our top selling bulls, obviously, not only in North America, but around the world, and will be a top seller for years to come. Malary, Joe Super, Frazzled. One of our new graduates with the August Sire Summaries is 7HO14110SSI Sanderson Razzle. It really should be no surprise to see this bull graduate as he hails from one of the Holstein breed's most productive and profitable cow families. His pedigree shows generation after generation of high scoring VG and excellent dams with very high production, all the way back to Seagull Bay Oman Mirror, one of the truly most influential cows in the Holstein breed. Select Sires has seen many, many bulls from this cow family enter our lineup and improve the Holstein breed. Razzle and his full brother Sheik, also an August grad, are the only two Sanderson sons available in the breed. So that makes him an easy choice to use as a sire in your own pedigrees. If you watch the video of this bull, you will see he possesses a strong front end with a wide rump, and that is a pattern we've seen in his daughters. In fact, his type evaluation has him minus for stature but positive for strength and a good improver of rump width. That is a combination that is very desirable in today's commercial dairies. Smaller stature, but wide and strong. Making cows that milk well, breed back, and last a long time in your herd. Razzle is one of the breed's best for improving milk production at over 2,100 pounds of milk but his daughters are predicted to breed back quickly as his fertility index of 1.0 is in our top 10 for the proven bull lineup. His semen fertility also adds to his popularity as his high SCR, sire conception rate, makes him an easy choice on dairies around the world. This bull possesses a lot of the traits that make profitable cows and I predict he'll be a strong seller for many years to come at Select Sires. SSI, Sanderson, Razzle. The next bull in the ring is 250H, 13267 Duke. Duke is a Montrose son that hails from the big production family, the Roy Lane Shop Mindy's. Duke 
is a production superstar himself. At 99% uh, reliability, Duke is the number 16 milk bull in the breed at over 2,300 pounds of milk. The number seven protein bull at the breed at over 75 pounds of protein. And the number four fat bull at over 114 pounds of fat. And one of the top combined fat and protein bulls in the breed. Additionally, Duke is a positive component percentage bull as well for both fat and protein, which is extremely exciting. To describe the Duke daughters, they're strong, powerful cows with tremendous substance and plenty of bone with increased teat length. The Duke daughters are fairly balanced, moderate sized cows that will survive and thrive in any environment as they carry enough cover and do all the little things right. Duke is going to be used best on uh, daughters of Brewmaster, Dragonheart, Epic, Millington, Spark, Doc, and Helix. That's 250H, 13, 267, Duke. It's my pleasure to introduce to you one of the most popular bulls at Select Sires. 7H12344, Y Valry Rager Red. A bull that continues to rank as one of the top red and white proven bulls in the industry. He continues to be a great individual, perhaps one of the greatest individuals at Select Sires. As you look at the balance, the size, the scale of this bull, now as a eight-year-old bull, continues to wear his score of excellent 90 extremely well, probably needs to move up in score. Such a great confirmation sire. He's got tremendous feet and legs for a bull of his age and size. He's got that balance and width, hard top, beautiful rump. Just a bull that you have to admire in his own right. Never mind his genetic contribution. He's a bull that has solid production. He's a bull that's still 1.55 on type, and breeders across the globe love his predictable pattern, right-sided linear. What Rager does is makes great cows. That's why he's been so popular. He was the number one sales bull at Select Sires in 2018 and in 2019. To date, he has sold over 637,000 units of semen across the globe. He's an outcross pedigree, being a relief pea son, from an observer, from an advent, and probably is dominant bull in red and white genetics since his grandsire advent. He's one of the lowest expected future inbreeding bulls in the breed, so he can get used on a wide variety of cows, both black and white and red and white. As I look at this bull and what his contribution will be, he adds mastitis resistance. He has the Mastitis Resistance Pro logo uh, in his credentials as well. We're gonna have a big impact on red and white genetics. He's increased the gene frequency across the population. That's 7H12344 Rival Re Rager Red. 7J1219 Dutch Holler Oliver P. Oliver P is a Valentino son. He's now the oldest Jersey Bull living at Select Sires at over 10 years of age. And he's a bull that just passed Beretta for the number four sales slot in Select Sires history. Oliver P, great uttered cows. That's what everybody talks about. Breeders across the country love their shallow udders. And he just continues to impress with high, wide rear udders. Great utter depth, very shallow and just a bull that has a bar chart to the right that everybody likes to talk about. He's provided customer satisfaction for several years now being that he is 10 years old. And this bull, you look at him, he gets around on a great set of feet and legs. He's long from end to end. He's deep in that front end. He's just a bull that has come to work, shown up every day, never been a huge ranking bull, but a bull that just makes those customer satisfaction kind that people keep going back to. That's the great thing that Oliver P. does and he's from a master breeder herd. 
He's got other master breeder herds in his pedigree. So a lot of history in this bull and out of a cow family that has done great things. Several years ago, we had the SMS conference that got to go through the Dutch Holla cows. And his dam was one of the favorites of the, on the tour. She's a 93 point cow with over 1300 pounds of fat. The next dam's excellent with over 1200 pounds of fat. So making that rich, high quality Jersey milk that really has given the breed the growth that we've needed around the world to become a commercially viable breed. And Oliver P takes the horns off naturally. So it's been a great combination, certainly a feature sire, select sires, and we're certainly glad to have Oliver P in our lineup. Coming into the arena next, we have 7JE1787 Primus Viceroy Caliban. Caliban was bred by our partners at Jerseyland Sires. He's a Viceroy son out of the Lemonhead Carnival, Lemonhead, the Sampson son bred at Steinhauer's in Wisconsin. It's done a great job around the world, adding a little size and substance to cattle. The next dam, a 90 point Pharaoh, then a Valentino, then an Action, then a Connection, and then a two-time national grand champion in circus. She needs no introduction to the Jersey breed. So you're taking a two-time national show pedigree winner and putting it with a bunch of production and proven cow families down the line with Valentino and Pharaoh and Lemonhead. You get a bull that's just a balanced bull. Mid 600s for milk, a bull that's 64 CFP, a bull that's plus 1.1 on DPR. He's a bull that just does a lot of things right and boy you love this young bull when you look at him as he came into the arena. Just barely three years old, big front ended, shoot to the moon front end, a lot of drop to his rib, a lot of length from end to end, and a beautiful foot and leg on this bull. A bull that's just so balanced all the way through and one that we're really starting to see some calves out in the field that just make look like they're going to make super individuals. Love the Caliban heifers that we're seeing everywhere and you can see why as he walks around the arena here. Just a beautiful bull, A2, A2 and certainly happy to have this Jersey land bred bull with, from the Primus program, their female program at Select Sires and looking forward to what he can do for us in the future. 7J5004 River Valley CC Chrome. Chrome needs no introduction. He's the bull that is the leading lifetime seller all time at Select Sires, selling over a half million units and still counting. He's also in our top 10 for sales again this year. He's a bull that wasn't the large or highest genomic young bull. He's a bull that got daughter data and we like to say they're genomic tested and daughter proven and his daughter proof took him to the top of the list and he continues to be at the top of the list for the PTAT and JUI charts. He's a bull that's just a balanced bull. He makes those customer satisfaction stars that everybody likes. He's a critic P out of the 91 celebrity, then the 94 character, bred by River Valley, but the maternal line goes back to a master breeder herd at Lion Jerseys out in Toledo, Iowa. Just a tremendous cow family behind this bull. Hope you admire the length this bull has from end to end, the way he gets around on a great set of feet and legs. This bull's eight years old and still comes to work every day, enjoys what he does. And is just such a beautiful dairy frame bull and walks around on such great feet and legs. You really have to admire the way he gets around at eight years of age and just has such great daughters that are customer satisfaction stars now that we're seeing them in their fourth lactation and greater. And dairymen just keep using him because they really like the daughters they see when they walk cows every day or work with their cows every day. And it's a great opportunity for dairymen to improve in one generation a lot of type and udders and still bring positive production, fat, and protein to a mating. 7J5004 Chrome, a great young bull, 
but turned into an awesome mature bull daughter data verifying what he's done around the world and the story and the generational bull that this bull has become is great for the breed and we're certainly fortunate to have him at select sires